We all know that asbestos is toxic, but many people wonder how asbestos harms the human body. The truth is, scientists are still trying to figure out exactly how asbestos causes harm. But researchers do have several theories, and all involve heavy exposure that leads to genetic damage. Heavy exposure to asbestos most commonly occurs in a workplace setting on a daily basis for several years or decades. Construction and industrial work sites, like shipyards and factories, are the most common sites where asbestos was used. Working around asbestos daily gave workers many opportunities to inhale or ingest the mineral's microscopic fibers. These fibers are so small that they are easily inhaled into the lungs or swallowed into the digestive system. Inhalation is far more common than ingestion, which leads to more cases of lung disease. Once inhaled, asbestos fibers travel into the lungs and may become lodged in lung tissue. Some of these lodged fibers can travel from inside the lung to the outside lining of the lungs, and this is where mesothelioma cancer forms. Other fibers might travel to distant parts of the body via the bloodstream or the lymph, but scientists are still trying to prove this theory. After the asbestos fibers lodge in human tissue, the immune system sends a special cell known as a macrophage that attempts to wrap around and remove the fiber. But unfortunately, not all macrophages are successful in removing the fibers, which causes the fibers to build up over time. The chemical reactions that occur during this process result in compounds like reactive oxygen species, which damage DNA and lead to scar tissue or fluid buildup. This genetic damage can change human DNA in ways that causes cells to divide uncontrollably. Instead of dying a natural cell death, these cells continue to replicate and eventually form tumors in the lung or lining of the lung. Avoiding asbestos is the best prevention method, but workers who were previously exposed should avoid cigarettes and get regular health screenings to check for signs of disease. To learn more about preventing asbestos-related illness, visit our website at asbestos.com and join in on our community discussions on facebook.com forward slash the Miso Center.